What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another Dragon Blaze video and today we're we'll talking about investing in our last dual wielder but most importantly we have the secret shop. Now I've already bought in. Uh, the first gift here is your star essences. Basically you get you know you get one free random gift uh, every day and then this one right here is purchased for accessories so before I told you you can't get accessories anymore you can get them through the secret shop well here you go. The only downside is you can only get one. And then here is just hero cards. But I kind of wish they wouldn't have took the refresh rate thing out so you can kind of get different rewards. And then like this shop is a lot different from the previous ones. So uh, it's okay, I guess. But I kind of wish they would do a lot better. But they have hero, uh, hero treasure cards, which is very nice. And then you have cash as well. And then you can also spend money here. But how I would recommend that. But the secret shop is back. So make sure you participate in that. We do have new events, Caledon and Arena event, which I will be participating in or trying to. So now we're going to go to our dual wielder. And it is this guy. He's pretty awesome, actually. Um, he's a DPS damage dealer physical. We're going to go right into it. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing good. It says, I said attack normal. It says attack one enemy and nearby enemies, increasing your attack speed upon normal attack seventh phase 4.4 seconds, which is very good because he's going to constantly increase his attack speed and he hits everyone, which is very impressive. I really, really love that about him for sure. Uh, type it says inflicts 2,448% skill damage on all enemies. 10.1 seconds, which is very low, which is pretty awesome. So that means he can spam it quite a bit, which is great. Specialty 1 removes up to 7th phase of vulnerabilities on enemies and inflicts the same percentage as the first attack. Uh, additional additional damage, which is quite powerful because the fight he removes a vulnerability 7th phase or lower, that's quite silly, actually, to say the least. I, that, that, that's very powerful. He makes sure he's going to get to you no matter what unless it's 8th phase or higher. So that's pretty powerful. And then uh, ignores uh, invasion, including bosses. So you're not going to get past that. <laughs> he ignores all that stuff. So this, so this attack is going to guarantee hit you, which is quite absurd, actually. Wow, specialty 2 inflicts additional damage on all enemies equal to 10% of their max HP, excluding bosses. Guys, that's kind of absurd, actually. Like, I see why I like this guy so much. He puts in a lot of work, and I see why. That's pretty silly. The fact that he does uh, equal up to 10% of their maximum HP. Holy crap. That, that's that's, that's kind of silly, actually, to be honest. Next is uh, inflicts 2,754% skill damage on all enemies. Cooldown 14.8 seconds, which is not bad. Switch T1 removes up to 7th phase buff. So he's all about making sure... <coughs> You can't do anything if it's 7th phase or lower. He's just going to take that straight out. Specialty 2, stun enemies 8th phase for 5.5 seconds. Ignore immunity and evasion, including bosses. So he's all about getting... This guy is definitely worth investing in. And I've been recently putting more um, more hero cards into him. I have more to put him into him now. But he's phenomenal, for sure. I would definitely invest, invest in him like there's no tomorrow. He gets... He, he's just so He's just so powerful. Specialty, uh, let's see, uh, signature skill upon charging 100% energy. Specialty 1 inflicts 9,914% skill damage on all enemies, which is quite good. Specialty 2 inflicts additional damage on all enemies equal to 10% of their HP, including bosses. So he does that again, but it's even stronger, I'm pretty sure, because it's his ultimate. And Specialty 3 uh, cast a heck effect on enemy mages, enchanters, and priests. Seventh phase ignores immunities of Asian including bosses. So that's quite silly. Like he does not like those those specific type of heroes, and the fact that he cast that on them, ignoring everything, is quite powerful. He is uh, he's definitely definitely <laughs> definitely powerful <laughs> for sure. Now, <coughs> um, his uh, heck effects uh, instantly kills an enemy after four seconds. Holy mackerel. Focus attacks affect one cast effect that um, ca um, causes up 
to 11 attacks and inflicts 1 damage to you. Focus attack effect 2 blocks buff removed 6 times. Focus attack effect 3 all of your attacks do not miss. Focus attack effect 4 increase STR by 306% and physical attack by one that by 1224%. Guys, that's uh, beyond broken. Uh, this guy is extremely, extremely, extremely silly. Need to invest into him. That's just so absurd. And then it says, uh, it says conditional special skill cooldown nine seconds when attacking enemies. Specialty attacks one enemy using the ruthless skill. Let's see. Effect one. Inflict three thousand. 60% uh, additional skill damage on all enemies. Effect 2, inflicts additional damage on all enemies equal to 10% of their HP, excluding bosses. Effect 3, block all enemies from using skills that are activated when they are hit, which is silly. Eighth phase for two seconds, ignoring everything like before. Uh, effect 4, block enemy, uh, enemy skills instantly triggered skills and revive for enemy mages enchanters and priests eighth phase for two seconds ignoring everything else as usual which is broken as hell uh casting immunity effects against debuffs and magic damage on all enemies holy moly like this guy is this guy is a is absurdly like broken in my opinion like holy crap he's so broken <laughs> good lord um Let's see. Uh, his slash it says conditional special skill. Cooldown redu cool down 22.1 seconds. Conditions when when an ally dies, excluding self. Specialty one. Uh, cast an, an, an immunitary effect on on an ally warrior, dual wielder, and rogues. Seventh phase for six seconds, excluding self. Specialty two. Restore 100% HP when the immunitary effect expires, <laughs> which is quite retarded. It's so good. He's just so good. Conditional special skill cooldown 22.1 seconds upon your death. Cast an, an immortality effect on yourself, seventh phase for eight seconds. Restore 100% HP when the immortality effect expires. So he's all about surviving and getting the work done. And he is just so retardedly broken. I hope people invest in him. He's quite, he's just quite broken, just in my opinion. And passive, personal passive, increased STR by 61 and physical attack by 230%. I like or increase main stats by 23 and physical attack by 92, which is so good. Specialty one, using the ruthless skill, cast a focus attack effect on all warriors, dual voters, and rogues, which is quite silly actually, to say the least. Specialty two, upon entering the battlefield, an extra attack from ruthless instantly activates, which is so broken. Type two, uh, arena league, guild takeover passive, person passive, increased STR by. 122% and physical attack by 459% and skill attack by the same percentage, which is quite powerful. I like or increase main stats by 46%, physical attack by 184%, and skill attack by 184%. Uh, upon normal attack, inflicts 3060% and additional skill damage on all enemies, which is quite powerful. And then obviously, you have just your normal stuff here, your increases, and all that stuff. And then we're going to go to here. <laughs> Which is his madness. Infinity passive, personal passive, increased physical attack by 165%, skill attack by 189%, and STR by 146%, which is quite powerful. Ally Aura, increased main stats by 52%. Specialty 1, upon using blades remove and vulnerabilities on enemies, becomes 8th phase. Specialty 2, upon using madness drive, buff remove effects on all enemies become 8th phase, which is so silly. Uh, using uh, hack force focus attack effect cast on warrior dual builder and rogues become eighth phase so it's making the buffs even higher so they're harder to remove he is so good using hack hack effect uh on enemy mages enchanter and priest become eighth phase so it's gonna be hard to even remove that because most phases don't even go beyond seven to be honest so he makes it harder to uh to deal with that and then arena guild buff takeover Personal passive increased skill attack by 263%, physical attack by 308%, and STR by 91%. Ally Aura increased main stats by 42%. So what do I think about this guy? <laughs> he's a uh, he's quite powerful. Um, he is extremely, 
extremely, extremely powerful, in my opinion. He removes buffs no matter what, just about. He does incredible damage. He also one-shots things uh, in most cases. And all around, he's just extremely powerful. So I highly recommend everybody investing into him. He's extremely powerful. This guy right here is just is no joke. I uh, highly recommend investing in him. I'm going to keep doing the same. Um, Holy Mo. Obviously, you know, um, my weapons are purple and gold. I got to get more accessories and all of my jewels and ruins are done for this class as well. But that is definitely it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you get everything from the shop that you want, as you see here. Accessory, Star Essences, Guys Memories, and then I got the cards from the shop. Partaking to that, like, comment, subscribe, and I will definitely see you for the next one. I'm really short on time right now. The next one should be a lot longer, though. Stand by for the next one.